Rufus Anamwa Mensa expressed worry at the alarming rate of poor access to tertiary education in the country. According to him, only 4.1% of the population has access to post-secondary education. A challenge, he said, government must address by not only putting up structures, but considering an ICT-based educational system for Ghana. Educators and policy makers must turn to new technologies, including e-learning and online learning, for solutions. There is no other practical alternative unless we want to keep, for example, the over 90 percent of the people from entering the promised land of knowledge, innovation, and opportunities. The relentless advances in information and communication technologies and its attendant globalization are transforming all areas of human endeavor, including job profiles and skills required in the marketplace, and improved learning and management in the educational system. He added, the introduction of open education, which is ICT-based, could go a long way in achieving Ghana's Millennium Development Goals. Investment in ICT-driven education will lead to world-class education, not only for an elite group, but for a greater number of people. It is my hope that the government will invest heavily in this venture by ensuring that all institutions and learning centers are wired by 2025. That support is given for developing the capacity of academic staff in institutions to be able to integrate technology in instruction, to create open educational resources, and to adapt open educational resources developed by others. Minister for Education Professor Jin Nana Opoku Ajima noted the government recognized the role of ICT and is poised to ensure that education is driven by it. Clearly, the modes of knowledge acquisition cannot remain the same, and this is why I welcome your theme. Governments should be obliged to receive from this New Year school the specific interventions in education that the ICT is expected to resolve. During the next four years, we will be very interested in how you come up with suggestions to address challenges of efficiency, the changing roles of the teacher, challenges of cost, the desired results, especially as we reach many people who will learn via distance. We need to empower our students, especially in the universities and polytechnics, also to develop open source software application suited for our local context to be deployed at all levels of our education system from primary to the tertiary and beyond. The annual New Year School and Conference is a national program held by the Institute of Continuing and Distance Education of the University of Ghana. This is the fifth edition themed Information Communication Technology will examine the challenges and prospects of ICT in education. Matilda Pomaga for Joy News.